Okay, welcome to One Look Mega Mix OLL episode 12. Today we're going to be covering this set, set 19, which is where we have this line EO with one corner attached to the top here. Um, there are 12 cases in the set, and unlike last episode, there aren't quite as many mirrors and stuff. There is some of that, but um, not too much, so it's a little bit harder to learn than the last episode was. But the algs are a little bit faster for me at least, so it kind of balances out. Anyway, as always, all of the algs that I mentioned will be listed down in the description, as well as links to a Megamix OLL trainer and my Megamix algs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLO algs that I use and recommend. So that out of the way, let's get into it. So first up we have 19B plus and minus, and 19C plus and minus. So as you can see, these are the cases that have this three sticker bar at the back here, and recognition, recognizing between these cases is pretty straightforward. The B cases have this bar at the front, and the C cases don't have a bar at the front. And then the plus and minus cases are of course mirrors as always. So in all of set 19, the plus cases are the ones with the corner on the left hand side of this line, whereas the minus cases are the ones with the corner on the right hand side of this line. So pretty straightforward, definitely easier than set 21 recognition was last week. And as for algorithms, this first one here, 19B+, plus, we're going to do from this angle, so that bar on the left hand side, and the other looks like this. R u2 prime r prime, f prime u prime f, u prime r u prime r prime. So pretty short and pretty basic RUF um, finger tricks. Nothing really of note. And done a bit faster, it looks like that. So you can see it's a pretty decent case. The second one, 19b minus, is a little bit longer, but I find I can achieve faster TPS on it just because it's a little bit more ergonomic. Um, so we do it from this angle with the bar in the back left hand side, and the algorithm looks like this. R prime, u2 prime r, u r prime, f prime u prime f, r u r prime, and u, which we drag with our ring finger, r. Just like that. So I probably find this to be maybe my favorite set 19 case, just because it's very, very consistent and reasonably fast. Um, yeah, that's that's 19b plus and minus. And actually, I'll show you 19c minus before 19c plus, which you'll understand in a second. Um, so the 19c minus elk that I recommend is from this angle, so the bar on the right-hand side, and it looks like this. R, u2 prime, r prime, hedge, u2 prime, r, u prime, r prime, right? Just like that. So very basic IDF triggers, and reasonably fast. Certainly not the fastest ALG, but not really slow either. Um, and the reason I showed you that ALG first is because for 19C plus here, there's two options. The first option is just the back mirror of that ALG, right? So this is the one that I find to be the fastest, but it's a little bit inconsistent. So, I don't know, try it, see if it works for you. But anyway, that would look like this. From this angle, with the bar on the right hand side, we'd do R prime U2 R, back hedge, U2, which I do with my left index finger to avoid the reload after the back hedge and then R prime U R, right? Just like that. Um, however, that is admittedly like a little bit um, risky. So, well, I don't know about risky, but it's, you might not like it. Um, so there's a slower, but probably, I don't know, easier or safer RUF option, which is from this angle, so the bar in the front, and that looks like this. If R U prime R prime U, uh, u2 prime r prime u2 prime cxe f prime right so just basic f 2g and f prime stuff right and done a bit faster looks like that nope <laughs> not if i mess it up apparently let's try that again there you go so it's yeah i don't know longer but might be faster for you if your f2g and f prime spam is good so try both them out and see what one works for you so next up we have 19a plus and minus and 19d plus and minus. These cases are kind of the reverse of the previous four in terms of recognition, because here at the back we have nothing, whereas before we had that three sticker bar. So kind of the opposite. And then differentiating between them works basically the same way. Here the 19d cases have this bar in the front, the 19a cases have no bar in the front, and the plus and minus cases are mirrors. So pretty straightforward recognition and the algorithms should be pretty easy to learn too. So this first one, 19A+, plus, we're going to do from this angle, with that sort of nothing side on the front, and the algorithm looks like this. F, inverse sexy, which I start with my ring finger, then U, R, U, R prime, U2 prime, F prime, right? 
So just basic um, f2 gen f prime spec, right? So should be reasonably easy. The second one, 19a minus, we're actually just going to use the inverse alg of that previous one. So that's going to be from this angle, with that like nothing side of the back left. And the alg looks like this. F u2 r u prime r prime u prime sexy f prime, right? Just like that. Um, you might notice that these are mirror um, mirror cases for which I used inverse algs. Because they're mirror cases, you could of course use the mirror algs instead, which would be um, br r u gen algs. Um, I personally find those a little bit slower and a little bit less consistent, but if you want to try them, they're listed on the sheet linked in the description, or you can just, you know, figure them out by mirroring the algs that I just showed. Um, so yeah, those don't work quite as well for me, but they might work better for you. Anyway, um, those are the 19a cases, and then for the 19d cases, um, the algs are actually kind of similar. So this first one, 19d plus, is going to be from this angle, with that bar on the front, and the alg looks like this. F u double sexy, um, and then u prime, f prime, right? And because that sexy ends in u prime, and then we do a u prime afterwards, it just becomes u two prime, like that. So the alg looks like, oh, the alg looks like that when done a bit faster. This is actually um, very, very similar to the 19a case. The only difference is that with this first sexy move, with 19a, we did r u prime, r prime u. So just flip the direction that the u moves. But yeah, it's very similar and hopefully that'll make it easier to learn. Anyway, um, for 19d minus here, this time we are going to use the mirror alg of 19d plus. So that's going to be from this angle with that bar in the back right. And the alg looks like this. br prime, u prime, double back sexy, and then u, br. So then that becomes a u2, of course, because we have a u after the back sexy, and then br. So you end up with that u2 into br finger trick, right? Like that. Which might be a little bit weird at first, but as you can see, is pretty fast once you get it out. So those are the 19a and 19d cases. And finally, we have 19e plus and minus and 19f plus and minus. So these are the cases that have um, these two sticker bars in the back, right? And there's a few different ways of differentiating them. You could do what we've done for the other eight cases, just check if there's a bar in the front, and that works fine, right? If there is, it's E. If there isn't, it's F. Also, you could check the position of the headlights, right? For the E cases, it's in the back here, and for the F cases, it's on the right. Or um, you could look at the position of this two-sticker bar, right? Is it on the narrow end of this line EO, or is it at the wide end? I mentioned all of these because I sort of use all of them to varying extents, depending on the angle and just what I see. Um, but whichever is most distinctive to you should work fine. So that's the recognition. For the algorithms, there's, I think, a few options for all of these cases. Maybe not this one, but for the other three there are. Um, so you can check the sheet if you don't like the algs that I've got listed here, but or that, I'm, that I show you. Um, but I'm just going to show you the ones that I use because I believe they are probably the best for most people, and it would just take a while to show you multiple algs for every case. So for this first one, 19E+, we're going to do it from this angle with the headlights on the right-hand side, and the alg should be super easy to learn because it's just f u r u prime soon r prime f prime, right? And then of course at the end of the soon we have r prime, which cancels with the following r prime to become r two prime, and then f prime, right? So just like that. So not the fastest alg in the world, but should be super easy to learn. The second one, 19e minus, is kind of the opposite in the sense that it's quite hard to break down to stuff we already know, so it's just kind of a lot of triggers. Um, so, sorry about that, but it's reasonably ergonomic at least. So it looks like this. R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, R, U prime, R prime, U two, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, right? So just like that, done faster. You could also, you could also execute it from home grip, which would look like that. I personally find that a little bit um, more awkward to execute, but you could try it out and see if it works for you. That's the 19E cases, or the 19F cases. These are kind of just um, two gen spam into uh, sledge for both of them. So this first one, 19F+, we're going to do from this angle, with the headlights on the right-hand side, and this looks like this. 
R U should prime R prime U should prime R U R prime U should prime sledge. So it's kind of just a lot of um, basic R U F finger tricks with just a lot of U should uh, U should prime spam in there. So I think you really should be good at your U should prime double flicks if you want to be fast at this out. But yeah, it looks like that. And then finally we have 19F minus. So this one we're going to do from this angle with the headlights on the left hand side. And this is probably the fastest 90, uh, set 19 case. It just looks like this. R prime, U should prime. R to U, R to prime. U, R, U should prime. Sledge. So this is the inverse of um, set oh, 34E plus, I think. Maybe 34E minus, which we learned the other week. Um, but yeah, it's just basic 2D and spam into here, into sledge. Right? Just like that. Anyway, that's set 19.